everybody, this is Bob. Today's video is about a bunch of things that can kill you in Thailand. I'll be right with you. Thailand has some of the most deadly traffic in the world. Motorcycles comprise 80% of traffic deaths and 70% of those involved are not wearing helmets. There is almost no moving enforcement in Thailand and Thai motorists are somewhat undisciplined. There are also numerous intoxicated drivers, underage drivers, wildly overloaded small trucks hauling vegetables, roads with no guardrail, unlicensed tourist-owned motorcycles, and dangerous mountain roads. There are snakes in Thailand and it does have poisonous snakes with several varieties of cobra, including king cobra, Thai monocled cobra, and a spitting cobra that tries to spit his venom into your eyes. Cobras are not particularly aggressive and only bite when they feel they are cornered or threatened. Other noteworthy venomous snakes include Malaysian pit vipers, Russell vipers, and several varieties of crate. I've covered over 30,000 miles of Northwest Thailand, mostly motorcycling and hiking, and I've only seen five poisonous snakes in a four year period. A large number of Thai snakes hunt at night. If you encounter a snake, you can get the village snake man to deal with it. Every village has a snake man and everybody knows who it is. Everybody loves the elephant but it's important to understand wild elephants are the most deadly creature in Thailand. They can become enraged over seemingly small things like a oh. backfire, a core horn, or dogs barking. Last year, a native couple of farm workers were sleeping in a tent in an agricultural area and they were trampled to death for no apparent reason. Your best chance to enjoy elephants is at one of the many elephant camps where the elephants have been around people since their birth and they are attended by trainers when people and elephants interact. <clears throat> Monitor lizards. This is Varanus a cousin of the Komodo dragon. This adolescent water monitor weighs about 50 pounds and is over six feet long. It has three to four inch claws. It is venomous. It has razor sharp teeth. And this lizard can deliver a bull whip like blow with its tail. When it is an adult, it can be as long as 10 feet and weigh 200 pounds. This was filmed on Hong Island in the Andaman Sea where they are common they are the most common monitor lizard in Thailand. Everybody likes monkeys and they are fun to watch, but monkeys, especially in tourist areas, can be a problem. They will grab bags, cameras, keys, hats, eyeglasses, your food, and they are capable of opening sealed containers. Monkeys will bite and can menace and frighten small children. Even small monkeys have extreme strength, and monkey attacks and monkey bites occur every year in Thailand. Macaques are very aggressive monkeys. Okay, this is a giant centipede. It's an ugly, scary looking thing. They can get nearly as big as your lower arm. They have a severe venom, and even with hospital care, a victim of a centipede bite will be incapacitated for several days. I have witnessed aggressive behavior in these creatures, and one I saw move quickly toward me. There are some venomous caterpillars in Thailand, too. Dogs. There are many stray dogs in some areas. These dogs will often hunt in groups and exhibit pack behavior. They often hang around neighborhood areas and are called soy dogs by the Thais. I haven't had any dog issues in Chiang Mai on my motorcycle or on foot, but I suggest you can carry a walking stick in unfamiliar territory. One of my neighbors and Nulek have been bitten this year. Island hopping boats. In the last several years, there have been fatal accidents associated with tour boats taking travelers out to the Thai Islands. I'm not talking about long tail boats, but rather the larger boats. 
marginal maintenance, overcrowding on the boats, and poor judgment in bad weather seem to be the main causes of accidents, with 50 people having drowned in one accident and enough boat sinkings over the last several years to make it wise to evaluate your boat carefully. Zip lines are dangerous everywhere, and there have been several deaths in the last few years on zip lines in Thailand. TripAdvisor won't publish reviews if you write a review mentioning accidental death, so for details on which zip line companies had deaths, Google zip line tests in Thailand. Lake Hui Tong Tao in Chiang Mai not only has tons of party huts, they also have, and food and other goodies, they also have a zip line that runs across the lake. So unless you can't swim, that might be the safest zip line I know about in Thailand. Big cats. Thailand has big cats. There are tigers up along the northwestern border with Myanmar that take an average of one rubber tree tapper a year that we know about. Tigers are extremely elusive and only about 210 still exist in Thailand. That's the most existing tigers in any country on earth. There are also jaguars, cheetahs, the Asian golden cat, and panthers. Do not approach big cats in the wild. Bears. Thailand has two bear species, the Asian black bear and the Malaysian sun bear. Thai bears typically sleep in trees during the day and forage at night. You are very unlikely to confront bears unless you're some kind of wilderness trekker and get really far out in the jungle overnight. Most human bear conflict arises from food cases carried by tourists attracting bears and people getting too close to baby bears. Scorpions. Thailand has many varieties of scorpion and many of them are non-poisonous. Most people compare a scorpion sting with a bee sting. Scorpion sting can put an allergic person into anaphylactic shock, just as a bee or a spider bite can. Some scorpions can get as big as your hand, but the biggest scorpion I've seen was in May Sai. Jellyfish are a hazard. Jellyfish hate bright light, so swimming on bright days and avoiding swimming after a storm are the best suggestions for dealing with jellyfish. If you get stung, clean the wound with vinegar. The sting is acidic and the vinegar will neutralize the poison and the pain. Trying to wash the wound increases pain level. Okay, the rockfish and the red lionfish. Both of these fish are poisonous, but not lethal. Rockfish can leave the water for a brief period, so it's even possible to encounter them on a beach. Leave them alone. The red lionfish is extremely aggressive. It is, if it is disturbed, expect an attack. Coral is dangerous on several levels. Dead coral can cut you like a razor. Live coral can sting you, and some of the most deadly and dangerous sea snakes and eels hunt in the coral reef. Even mora eels are another dangerous creature that lives there. Coral is beautiful, and if you are photographing it, be aware of the numerous hazards. Remember, a small cut can attract sharks from miles away. Now, I know this sounds a little silly, but falling down is a way a lot of people get hurt. There are a lot of infrastructure issues that can affect you. They, those issues range from blind intersections to potholes, open pits, uneven surfaces on sidewalks, walkways, and roadside. These problems can affect you any time of day, but get worse at night. People walking around looking for things to take pictures of have trip and fall accidents often. Watch your step. Everywhere on earth, there are some hazards. Florida, for instance, has giant snakes, wild hogs, and alligators. Georgia has bears and snakes. We know about these things and we take the proper precautions at home and the same applies to Thailand. I put this video together to make you aware of the threats, not to frighten you. Thailand is the fourth most visited tourist destination on earth and Bangkok is the most visited city. Thanks for watching. Our channel has about 300 videos already, mostly dealing with Thailand and Thai tourism. Subscribing and pressing the bell will get you notified when we post new videos. We'd love to have you along for the ride.